Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Carlson's Lab, and welcome to the very first Q&A on this channel, Q&A being question and answer. This is a brand new series I'll be having on this channel that will allow me to share tech tips with you and will also allow me to address your questions and comments from the comments section. Now the reason that I'm doing this, if you haven't been on this channel at all or if you haven't watched the previous video, is I do restorations, repairs and designs on this channel and I also have a Patreon page as well where I teach electronics. Now there's a lot of lag time between my videos just because I have so many things going on and in the real world repairs and restorations take a long time. So this will allow me to get up more content for all of you and share a lot more information because I have a lot of information to share. So it just really seems like a win-win. So what I've done right now is I've taken a comment from the previous video and I'll address that comment and in the future I'll take a comment or a question from a video on my channel and I'll just address it. It might be your comment or question. So let's take a look at the question today. So the question is here, it's written by Captain Jones. It says, what happened to the boat anchor series? I wanted to watch the work on those old RCA AR88 slash CR88s. Thanks for your videos though. Well, that series is still happening. The bench that you see behind me had to get created so that I could work on those very large old boat anchors. The previous bench was small enough for myself, so I was comfortable to work in there on a radio. But when you start adding lighting and cameras and microphones and all this kind of stuff, there is no room left. So that is one of the prime reasons why I built this bench is the Grand Receiver Restoration Series. And I also have lots of televisions like older TVs for restorations. I have ham radio transmitters, some big old AM transmitters that are going to be put on the bench here. I'm also going to be doing some conversions. I've got some broadcast transmitters that are smaller units that will be converted into ham radio bands. So I'll be doing that stuff here. There's all sorts of great stuff. CB radios, a lot of really neat things. And I need a lot of bench space for this. And that's the reason that this got created here. So now that this is created, I can start working on the Grand Radio Receiver Restoration Project again. So you ask, the AR-88 or the CR-88? I'll be back in just a moment. Heavy. Here you go, Captain Jones. This is an RCA CR88, very close to the AR88. The reason I've chosen this particular radio is because it has the AM broadcast band in it. I enjoy the AM broadcast band DX. If you're ever going to purchase one of these things for restoration, whether it be the CR88 or the AR88, you definitely want to check to make sure it has that if you're interested in the AM broadcast band. Many of these were the LF version. So LF meaning the low frequency version and they skip right over the AM broadcast band. Now the reason that they didn't put the broadcast band in some of these things is uh, maybe when these things were in listening posts uh, they found people listening to the broadcast band instead of what they were supposed to be listening to. Uh, who knows, but they, uh, they took it out of some of these things. So this one, I'm lucky enough to get one with the AM broadcast band. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to open this thing up, look at what we're up against in this entire restoration. I'll talk a little bit about what the engineers were thinking when they designed this radio receiver. We'll take a look at the schematic and the overall topology of everything and what's ahead of us in this whole thing. So it'll be a very exciting episode coming up. Again, this will be a series just like the General Electric radio receiver was in the first part of this series. Uh, reason being is just because there is just so much work to do in one of these things. It's, it's one thing to restore it and change all the parts and everything. Then it has to be completely tuned and aligned. So there's a lot of stuff to be done. There is some physical stuff I want to do to this. I want to make it look very, very nice because this will end up on my radio bench. I'm going to use this thing as just one of my communications receivers. Maybe I'll even hook it up to a panoramic adapter and I'll restore a panoramic adapter on here as well. So lots of great stuff coming. Again, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that and tap the bell. I have an ongoing electronics course on Patreon where I share many of my designs and inventions. Some of those inventions you'll see me actually using 
on this particular radio receiver to make it work properly. You'll see that in the series. If you're interested in that, you're definitely going to want to check out the new series I have going there as well. Yes, I don't sleep. It, I have a new series going on Patreon right now. It's how to fix just about anything electronic. So right now we're working on that particular series as well. So there will be vacuum tube stuff in there and there will be solid state transistorized stuff, all sorts of stuff. It's just going to cover everything electronic. So that'll help you repair or design or fix or restore anything that you have on your bench. That's the whole idea. Again, this channel and Patreon is all about sharing my electronic knowledge with you. I want to convey as much knowledge as I can and pass all of this on. All right, in the next episode, we have a lot of work ahead of us and that'll be coming up very soon as well. So until next time, take care. Bye for now.